What is the proper balance for a person between enjoying the pleasures of this world and and um, and the, the enjoying not enjoying? What should what should how much should a person enjoy this world? Should they go on vacations? Should they go to resorts? Should they enjoy delicious dinners in fancy restaurants? What's what's the balance? Well, that is a very 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 uh, deep question and uh, to really explain it like, like it should be uh, would take a, a lot of uh, time but to uh, put it in a nutshell how much should a person enjoy this world? Well, there are different people who have different ideas and different levels of spirituality. And at a simple level, that everybody could be able to uh, uh, live according to. A person in this world has to make sure that they live according to Judaism, a Jewish person, according to the Torah, according to the Torah's uh, demanding of God of what we do for, for him. So that's first and foremost, we have to make sure that we, our lifestyle is a lifestyle that will enable us to keep all the laws of the Torah. If we have such a lifestyle, it's okay if we also uh, enjoy this world, all the pleasures of the world, what's food or uh, different uh, vacations, like you said, and all different uh, mundane, down-to-earth pleasures of the world, that's okay. Because, after all, a person to keep all the laws of the Torah, that's not easy. And a lot of restrictions. You can't have all the food that you want. You can't uh, get all the money that you want. Uh, always restrictions, whether it's Shabbos or Yom Tif and, uh, and where you go and what you do. There's a lot of restrictions. So if a person keeps all the laws of the Torah, he's really restricting himself very much. And it's okay for him to enjoy, which is not restricted, and uh, there's no, nothing wrong with that. So that is really what most people are uh, obligated to do as being a religious Jew. But there are those who are much higher level than that. And uh, the different levels within that higher level that I'm talking about. But the highest level is that a person does not live in this world for himself at all. That all he wants to live for is for Hashem, is for only for religion. Those are the real pious scholars, great people, not too many of them around, that were, that are, that will be, that their whole life is called Masech, it's called the words in the Masech Yashem Shemayim. All of your actions should be for God's name. They don't do anything in the world without having a reason for it, for spirituality. Call the Shema Nashima, every breath that they take, they say, Thank you, Hashem, for giving me the power to breathe. Thank you, Hashem, for giving my heart the power to, to beat. I'm going ahead eating this uh, piece of bread. Well, I can eat the bread because I enjoy it. Or, like I said before, as a matter for the Shemin, the oil in the bread, we're supposed to think about, well, eat a piece of bread. We're eating it because we want to have the uh, health. To, by eating to be able to serve Hashem. So I don't do anything. If I drink and take a cup of water, I could just drink as I enjoy water. I can drink soda, I can drink whatever it is, enjoy it. But these great people, no one just enjoy it. I don't think they just enjoy it. I enjoy serving Hashem. So whatever I drink is for, for the service of Hashem, because if, if I don't need it for service of Hashem, I don't have to drink it. If I don't need this piece of food for service of Hashem, I don't have to eat it. So I have, don't, I have to take this walk, enjoy taking a walk outside or going for a drive. Is it going to help me to serve Hashem better? I'll do it. If I want to, I'll do it. So we see the difference between the first person and the second person. The first person keeps all the laws of the Torah. He's a very religious person. He's a good person. He's very good. I, I, we wish everybody would be like that. And he also is into this world, enjoying this world too for himself. He does for Hashem, for God. He does for himself. The real pious person is the one who doesn't do anything for himself. Everything that he does is, what do I have Hashem God in mind? What am I doing this for? Am I doing it because there's a purpose to it? I'll be closer to Hashem because of it. 
And if not, I don't have to do it because there's no reason to do anything that does not bring me closer to Hashem. So these are two uh, very uh, two extremes of a person. The question is, should a person enjoy himself in this world? And these are two extremes of, of people enjoying themselves. I hope it was clear enough. <laughs> Who can I call?